Hey guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back. It's Friday, Friday, Friday. Night before Halloween. I'm super excited to try my own makeup tomorrow night. Um, I've never done it before. So I'm really anxious to see how it's going to work out. But today I wanted to bring you some swatches of this gorgeous thing right here. It is the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca eyeshadow palette. Um, it is, I don't care about weight. I don't know if you guys do. I don't care. It tells me nothing. One of the girls that I watch, um, does it and I'm like, I don't know what that's telling me. So one of my friends did tell me that she wanted to see kind of videos of a really just a beauty basic person, doesn't know a whole lot about it, do reviews coming from kind of that total like, this is brand new to me kind of thing. And I was like, okay, maybe I can try some of those because I am relatively brand new to makeup since February of this year. Obviously I've worn it, but I haven't really dived into it like I have this year with the um, kind of the gateway drug called Ipsy. Yeah, and that just kind of spawned everything else. Um, so I have been wanting a bright colored palette like this. I got one from Morphe and I didn't, I don't care for how it applied on my eyes. So I wanted to try another one and I got a 20% off Sephora um, uh, employee, friends and family discount. So I took the opportunity to get this and the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour, which I've already used a couple times. And two of the, this is the Tattoo Liner in black and brown. Well, the black is called Trooper, and the brown is called Mad Max Brown. I love this stuff so much. So we can just start with this. This eyeliner is fantastic. I suck at winged liner so much. I don't know if it's because I'm old and I have some crow's feet going on, but I can't seem to ever, even with this, I can't get both sides equal and beautiful because I have... This eye has much more of a hooded lid than this eye, so obviously things are just going to happen better with this eye. But this is fantastic. The tip is a felt tip, and I feel like it provides enough um, give, and it's precise enough. It's I don't know how to describe it, because obviously I'm not a professional and I don't do this for a living. But it's sturdy enough, yet givey enough to do exactly what I needed to do. Other pens have just kind of been either, like the pencils are too hard, I, I I usually do the pencil but I don't do a wing liner ever. And the other pens that I've tried kind of just end up going all over the place and just look a hot mess. And by the end of the day, they're clear down to my cheekbones. But these, I haven't tried the black yet, but the brown I've been wearing all week and I adore it. I simply adore it. I would totally recommend it. Obviously I'm going to look for dupes in the drugstore, but I love this stuff. So happy I spent money on it. The Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette, we're going to get to the Big Beauty last. I Obviously you see this around YouTube everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. And the packaging is just gorgeous. You feel like a total rich bee when you have this in your possession. It's thick, obviously it is made out of cardboard. And some people complain about that, but me, I'm like, it feels darn good in my hand. I feel rich. I feel just luxurious. I feel everything that I should feel with an eyeshadow palette. And then obviously you open it up. You have the gorgeous little mirror, nice and big. And then you have the shades themselves. I don't feel like they ever come across on a camera. Even, I mean, yes, I don't have the best lighting. But even in the videos that I do see, I don't feel like they really come off as true as what they are in real life. Um, I have worn the warm tones this week, which I love. They go on very nicely. They stay well. They're just gorgeous. And then I played around with some of the cooler and neutral tones. I love everything about this. The shades are gorgeous. I love this warm. I pulled this one right there. I love that color. I mean, look at that. Hello? It's freaking disgustingly good. Like, it's just... It, it, 
it's just awesome 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 and it's 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 everything that I had hoped it would be from all the reviews that I've watched on uh, YouTube they swatch beautifully they feel amazing um, the only thing is and I have this problem with every eyeshadow pretty much every eyeshadow palette that I have I get some skipping just on this eye so this eye can hold an amazing wing liner this eye can have perfectly flawless put on eyeshadow this eye obviously has some skipping so and my eyeballs are just freaks but I work with it and I blend it out and I get it to do what it needs to do so all is right with the world but this this palette is just it's it's gorgeous if you if you can afford to buy it I would buy it um, <clears throat> it is an amazing matte palette everybody needs some matte colors especially for your transition shades yes I learned that term this year and it's it's just great it's just great highly recommend it now for the big dead hole, the Mavita Loca I literally just took it out of its packaging I have not physically looked at it in person yet only on videotape from other obviously youtubers and again I wanted a bright colorful palette that I could play with because I'm not a very colorful eye person I stick with my neutrals and my mauves and maroons I love those colors on my eyes because I have green eyes and it just makes them pop but I did want an option to kind of play with this and this is fantastic so obviously the cardboard holder is its case that you have to always put it in and out of which is fine with me and then you have this glorious wheel of color I feel like I'm in art class with a color wheel somehow so you have I don't even know how many shadows, oh 24 24 shades in here and they're 0.04 ounces I said it Rah! and I don't understand this 24 times 1.1 grams okay 24 times 0.04 ounces okay whatever if that means anything to you fantastic so these colors are gorgeous again like I said I have the morphe um, glam palette and it's okay but it doesn't really toot my horn very much so let's start swatching because I haven't done a swatching video yet and I'm super excited and I'm going to start with this color right here. It is in the shade Anthem. They feel amazing. And then I'm going to do Muse. What is that? Echo. And Dark Wave. So we have Anthem, Muse, Echo, and Dark Wave. I will learn how to swatch better, I promise, at some point. So those are just obviously very light, light swatches. I see girls that just kind of like totally dig into them. So there's that other one. But this is just from barely touching the colors, which is gorgeous. And that purple, that echo, I need to swatch that again. Because that has some glitter in it. Can you see it a little sparkly there? Gorgeous. All those colors are gorgeous. Again, sorry for the terrible swatching job, but I'm new to swatches. So let me get that off. And then we're going in for the Hyper Ballad, Lemon, Lemmy, Misfit, and Vinyl. Going into the greens. I'll do a little bit harder of a swatch here. Ooh. Lemmy kind of, that makes sense, I guess. It's more of a metallic shade and it kind of kicked up some eyeshadow there. Then we'll do this. The vinyl looks like my skin color almost, if I was really sick. Let me get some more there. So you have at the top, Hyper Ballad, Lemmy, Misfit, and Vinyl. They are fun shades, and I will enjoy playing with them. And I am just wiping my hands off on a 
forget what they're called. Oh my goodness. Microfiber towel. Now we're going to go into the yellows, which I will probably get no use out of because yellows in any shade or no matter if I'm wearing clothing, makeup, whatever, make me look like I'm going to throw up at any given time. So we have Legend, Fran, Analog, and Harpsichord. And those are the shades down here. There you go. This harpsichord color is a gorgeous color. Eee! Looks like a beautiful little sunset. I know these are the worst swatches. Sorry! And then we have Rewind, Destroyer, Swoon, and Love. Rewind looks like a color right up my alley that little and love as well. So we have the pinks at the end of a purple. Ooh, that one's really dusty up there. Love is, but it's sweat, it, if once you rub it in, it's really nice. Let me get some more of Rewind. That Rewind is a gorgeous maroon color. Pretty. So that is the outer ring of fun colors. And then we have the inner ring, which is the, which this is what I like about this palette as well. It gives you the neutrals to kind of fully put an eye, to, eye look together with this palette. I think that's one thing about the Morphe palette I don't like either. There's, there's not any neutrals or transition shades. It's just all bright and I guess if you're going for an 80s Halloween party or an 80s party, that palette is perfection. But I like to do transition shades. I like to darken out my outer V with a normal color. So I like this palette for that reason. So in the middle, we have Noble, Skulls, Black Metal, Lyric, Strutter, Vox, Molder, and then obviously Noble again. So we will start with Noble, and we'll do Skulls, Black Metal, and Lyric. Those are those. And what was it? Oh, Noble. Noble obviously is not going to show up because it is legit the same color as my skin, but it is down there, I promise you. So you have the Lyric, the Black Metal, Skulls, and Noble that you can't see, but I promise it is on there. And then to round it all off, we have Strutter, Vox, and Molder. Again, Strutter you probably will not be able to see. There are those. And again, I, I this is the first swatching video I've ever done, so I apologize if it totally sucks. I'm not a professional, or nor have I done this enough. But that is that palette. I'm really excited to play with it, give my eyes some little dimension as opposed to its normal neutrals and mauves and just the same colors I always wear. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I loved doing it. I like reviewing things. I do a lot on my Instagram page. Um, recently haven't been doing as much, but obviously I've been a lot more active on my Instagram than here on YouTube. So go check out my Instagram. It's Lish Beauty on there as well. And I will see you next time. Bye.